Hi friends, my name is Hannah and you're watching the Wishing Clock channel here on YouTube. Today I have for you a Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. I found 40 pieces for $56, I want to say. So it was a dollar and 40 something cents per piece. Um, my kid already stole the Fortnite t-shirt that I picked out for her and threw it in the wash so you won't be seeing that. And then I did as I was getting these bags ready to um, do this haul, find an ink stain on a like $15 button down sale. So uh, threw that out, figured you guys didn't need to see it. Um, so now we've got our remaining 38 pieces and we're going to jump right into them. Uh, these will be resold on Poshmark and maybe Mercari as well. This is gonna be the first day and then this is the second day. The first day I spent about two hours and this second day I spent only an hour and a half. So trying to squeeze it in in the evening right when boyfriend gets home so that I can drive to the bins, find some things without kids and interruptions. So here we have rails and this is the Lana Tiger Mixed Stripe sweater. Very cute, kind of cream and gray. This is a wool and cashmere blend. Um, it's very stretchy and soft. And I think I priced this at 40 and I'm hoping for it to sell above 30. So next item, I think I grabbed this because it was from this year. This is Banana Republic and this is the untucked standard fit in a size extra large men's. Um, I am trying to get a little bit more men's pieces because I just realized I'm under 20 pieces for men's clothing in my closet. And that's kind of sad. This is 51% linen. And again, it's from summer 2022. Dun, 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 dun. I think these are, yeah, these are the Express Editor Pant. Which is just a business casual style with a flare leg and I grabbed these because they are new with tags and I found that Express new with tags sells very fast um, as long as it's you know a piece that's more than like a basic tank top. Um, these retail for $69.90 and they are a size 8 regular. Ooh. So these should do well. The next piece is for Le Boyfriend, um, <laughs> Grumpy Men Rule. Had to grab it. It's from the Disney Park Store. Um, yeah. Those straight-faced men that we love. <laughs> these are marine layers, swim trunks in a size 36. Very excited to find these. These should sell for above $30. This is Arcteryx. It does have one small pinhole and I tried to resist grabbing it, but I figured I should still be able to make, you know, 20, 25 bucks at least on it, even with a little hole. Um, the hole is doo -doo -doo, right here next to the arm. So, um, yeah, men's medium Arcteryx base layer. Who can resist Arcteryx at the bins? Let me tell you. Not I. <laughs> this is the group by Babaton. Come on now. Where my face, maybe that'll help. No, we're just going to be difficult. And there it is, sort of. So this is the group by Babaton. It is a double extra small. But it's a ribbed waffle knit turtleneck. I figure this is a great basic, especially for the transitional season of fall that is coming up. Um, and it was lightweight. So here we have, that's my dog, sorry. Here we have a Beyond Yoga strappy tank. It's kind of got um, an asymmetrical strappy detail, nice red color, and it's in excellent condition. Size medium. Now we've got like a garbage truck sound going. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting all the background noise effects. This is Athleta in a size large, and this print is very cute. This is the first time I found an adult bin. Um, love picking up these super lightweight 
athletic pieces um, because they always will flip quickly. And, um, you know, so it's a great, like, fast return on investment. This is by Babaton, and this is a black wrap dress that I'm going to have to figure out how to tie. <laughs> it's a size small. And it's just 100% polyester. Here we have a brand called Sweet Flex, and I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong on the college, but this was designed by Stanford um, students. But this brand has a great resale value. These should sell for at least $30. They've got this great, like, multi-ribbed detail. If these were my size, I'd honestly try them on. Um, they feel nice and high quality. This is what the inner tag looks like. Come on. There we go. And they are a size four. Somebody had sold this exact pair in a similar condition for 36, I want to say. This was probably a bad buy, but it is Grateful Dead. The dog's just losing his mind. Size medium, men's tee. That was kind of an impulse. I don't know if that was a good pickup. These are Blink NYC. These are the Bond, and they have a great little ankle detail. So I had to grab them. Uh, the Blink NYC is usually sold at Nordstrom, Revolve, those kind of areas. Um, and they do usually have right here on the inside pocket, a style number, which makes it super easy to find a model listing. These are a mid-race skinny. So they might sit for a little while, we'll see. But I have found that darker blue and black denim is doing a little bit better for me than light colored denim. I don't know if you guys have noticed that at all, those of you who resell. Here we have Madewell in a size extra, extra large. Just a nice basic cotton tank or cotton blend tank. No 100% cotton. I was right the first time. Uh, this is from spring 2021. Nice little $10 flip, perhaps. This I picked up for style. This is waif in a size large. It is a button front dress. And I do find that these kind of pieces that can go from uh, casual to business casual and are more modest uh, tend to do well for me uh, you know for example J. Jill and pieces like that so I figured I'd give this a shot as well even if it only sells for between 15 and 20. Here we have community in a size extra small. I already have one of these style cardigans and it's got a lot of interest but it hasn't sold quite yet um, and it is approaching the 60 day mark. The next item is, I thought it was Title IX, which is why I picked it up because Title IX pullovers do decently. I don't know why I mistook the brand when I was at the bins, but this is actually three dots in a size medium. Comps do not look good for this piece. So I don't know if it's going to be worth listing it. Um, we'll see. This, I really like selling this line by J. Crew. It's the Vintage Fleece line. This is a size small. It's only a couple years old. It's just a nice pink boxy pullover. Uh, they, you know, don't always sell for over $20, but they sell quickly, so. Here we have AG by Adriana Goldschmied. These are the graduate, gradu graduate. <laughs> Tailored leg style. They're a size 34, 34, which is a great size. Very happy to find these. There was another pair of AG jeans, but they just weren't in as good condition, so I didn't grab them. This was kind of another impulse buy. However, it is new with tags, and it's adorable. This is an Abercrombie & Fitch cinched waist tank with tags still attached in a size. Oh, come on. Yep, this is my better space to get this tax to show up. Size large. Very cute. Has the embroidered mousse on it. 
the straps have little ruffle details and of course there's the elastic cinching on the back around the waist portion as well. Here we have Athleta in a size medium tall. These were a size large tall, they would be going into my closet. They've got a ribbed cuff right here, and then this nice stretchy ribbed portion around the knee, which I think is great because I always feel like my leggings are a little tight in the knee sometimes. And I don't know if that's a weird thing or if <laughs> any of you have experienced that, but um, just the give in the knee area is great. I don't know what year these are from. I just kind of got excited by the style. <laughs> Hello. Oh, they're from 2015, so they're older. Oops. That's okay, though. I really like them. So, you know. Here we have Free People Movement. These are a size medium jogger. Here's the little tab. Oh, bring it back to my... There you go. Free People Movement. Just a basic jogger that sits at an ankle length. On to day two. This was a very interesting, eclectic day, but I found some good gems. These are aloe joggers, which this is my first time finding a pair of joggers. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're a size small. And they've got this kind of moto detailing, which... Makes me think that you could wear them during the day or for working out or lounging. Here we have Madewell. I was surprised that these were in the bin because these are the perfect vintage jean in a size 29, which is a great size. And this style does fairly well. However, the um, fabric care tag is cut out. But, I mean, I've got the size. All I have to do is just look up the materials run it through the wash and we should be good to go. This is a brand I picked up because I know McThrift C has recommended it. I've never picked it up myself. It is XCVI. This is a size large, 100% cotton, but look at the pretty details on this woven top. Just from hem to hem. And the sleeves are nice and wide, which is great for those of us who have a little bit of extra skin from weight fluctuation, you know, that happens with life. These I picked up purely on style. Fabletics is not selling well for me. These are a size extra large. I am going to try these on. Um, I don't know if it'll make me look like I'm wearing a shiny latex balloon. But, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll check them out and see because I do like the fact that they've got zippers on the pockets and everything. And then the back is just more basic. Next, this is a tank top for me. These, I love these so much. Um, if you've got a little bit of extra skin in the abdominal area, these tanks are great. This is Classic Sontier, size medium. And they have these ribbed things that go right here instead of to the side. So instead of like moving your pudge in a weird place it actually like holds it right here it, it I don't know they just feel really nice and the bra on the inside stretches like crazy which we love so yeah that's my personal recommendation sorry here we have Athleta in a size 10 and these are the Cabo wide leg linen pants um it says it right here on this part of the tag these are a size 10, they're 100% linen, and they are from spring of 2022. And they are so freaking cute. Might have to try these on. Love it. It should do well. Here we have rails in a size large. Just been finding a lot of rails lately, which is great. Uh, this is the Hunter flannel, which does slightly less good than some of the other ones, but I should still get around $30 for it. These were probably, I struggled with impulses, I think because I was finding a little bit less, but these are AG by Adriana Goldschmied. They are the Angel Boot Cut, which is, a, <laughs> is an older style, so, you know. 
but I gave myself permission to grab them because they are a size 30. They do have a little spot right here that I think is just going to come out in the wash. Um, but yeah, size 30 boot cut leg jeans by Adriana Goldschmied. I wish that they would revamp this style and bring it back because I don't think that it's in um, their rotation right now. But because boot cut is trending, I think it would come back strong if they did. Or maybe they already have and I just don't know. Uh, this is Tucker in a size medium. This is a silk high neck dress, button front again. And comps look pretty great for this brand. So I'm expecting this to sell for around 40. It does button down all the way to the front. Again, it is a more modest style with a higher neckline. It's silk, so it's perfectly lightweight for summer. I think that'll do well. These somebody threw back, and I know why they threw back, because they're older Madewell. However, this style of jeans is so cute. These are a Madewell size 29 again. These are like, they have a dojo style leg. So I don't know if these are just not going to sell at all, but I think they're so cute. Size 29 too. I don't know what this style name is called. It's not on the tags on the inside, but it also has the more squared off pockets, which make your butt look a little better in my opinion. So yeah, I don't know how much these will sell for, but they're stinking cute. So I had to grab them. They're a little bit at Y2K and everybody loves that right now. Here we have Jay McLaughlin, which I haven't found in a while. This is a size 10. Um, these have some fuzz and stuff on them, but they're staying free from what I can tell. I don't know how Jay McLaughlin jeans do, but I do know that I've sold their pants for around $40 before. Look at this beautiful hem. That's what caught my eye in the bin. I was like, mm, gotta grab it. Here we have J. Crew. This is a newer one by them. This is performance stretch in a size extra large. Just a nice piece to buff up the men's closet. I think the blue and the green is great. Um, so we'll see how it does, but it is stretchy, which is nice. Here we have a pair of shoes. Finally found a nice pair of shoes, guys. It's been rough. Here we have Franco Sardo in a size seven. Look at that heel though. Sorry, I thought this was a fuzz for a second. It's wrapped, it's chunky, it's adorable. And then they even added the texture to the toe portion, which I think is a great detail. And then of course, suede upper. Again, these are a size seven. And they're in excellent condition. They do have a slight little bit of wear to the heel. These are going to be bundled together. These are Livy sports bras, and it looks like these sell for around $15 as one. So I think having two in great condition, I feel like I should get about 30 for those two. This is a crazy impulse piece for me, but I couldn't say no. This is Lita Caputo by something something. I can't even read it right there, you know, in gold cursive embroidery. Starts with an L, L-A, is it Lanana? I don't know. Uh, this skirt though is beautiful. So let me see if I can do this justice. It's a size 3X. It's got these gorgeous pieces, and then look at this beautiful loop fabric right here. So pretty. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to sell for, but I am going to list it for 40 because it's a beautiful vintage plus size piece. Um, it's acetate and rayon. Here's your little, oh, bring it back to the corner. Hello. But it's a paper tag. Right there. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's absolutely gorgeous though. Ah, I love it. I think that's gonna do really, really well. 
So that's all I have for you. It's kind of an eclectic haul, um, some impulse buys that probably won't pay off. Um, yeah, good thing they were $1.40 a piece though. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one if you decide to stick around and hang out. Thanks guys. Bye.